from Eleanor Roosevelt. Springbrook. And Northwestern compete today in a first round match on It's Academic. Hello, I'm Mike McGarry. Here's the opening round. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, but 10 off for a wrong answer. In this round, the contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens, but you do at home. Team whose light is on first has a chance to answer. Double fun with double S's. Don't mind your P's and Q's here. Mind your S's, because all the answers will have two S's side by side. That's right, a double S. Identify the following. Number one, this double reed instrument. All right, Eleanor Rosa. Bassoon. Bassoon is right. Bassoon. This ancient Roman was part of the first triumvirate. All right, Springbrook. Your answer. Crassus is the answer. That's ten down. In an old proverb, this is the mother of invention. Springbrook. Your answer. Inspiration. Necessity is the answer there. Ten down. This German-born diplomat was secretary of state at... All right, Springbrook. Kissinger. 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 It's all over. Yes, that's right. One cause of the War of 1812 was this practice of seizing Springbrook. Impressment. Yeah, that's right. Albert Payson Terhune wrote several novels about this heroic collie. Eleanor Roosevelt. Lassie. Lassie is right. This metallic alloy consists mostly of copper and zinc. Eleanor Roosevelt. Brass. Right. Although his first name was George, he was called Butch by the Sundance Kid. Springbrook. Cassidy. Right. This is the major literary work of St. Augustine, Eleanor Roosevelt. Confession. Right. And finally, some people believe there's a monster in the Scottish lake. Springbrook. Yes. Loch Ness. Loch Ness is right. There's the opening round of its academic. <laughs> It's Academic with Mac McGarry. Sponsored by Giant Food. Giant. Fresh ideas. Great values. That's Giant. And by Comcast. Connecting people to what's important in their lives. everybody and welcome to our show. We're going to introduce team number one. I understand the judges say that they heard confession, singular, and it should be plural, so you're not getting credit for, for that answer. Team number one, that's for Eleanor Roosevelt, which is team number one. They're in Greenbelt, Maryland, Prince George's County, Ben Thompson. Ben? Hello. I'm a 17-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank the Giant and the Pep Band for coming up. And we also thank Comcast for putting some money in here, too. Thank you very much, Ben. <laughs> Here's Kanan Mahadevan. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old junior. I'd like to thank our alternates, Maggie and Eric, and all the friends and family who came out to support us today. Thank you, and a very special welcome to this young lady who was born in Moscow, has been in this country only six years, and speaks beautiful English. <laughs> I'll tell you, what a job to be on a team already. Daria Babrakova. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old senior, and I would like to thank our wonderful coaches, Mr. Greenbaum and Mr. Smordick, and also Renee Levine of FDC. I would never know that you weren't born right here in Greenbelt. Thank you very much. <laughs> And uh, let's go with team number one, Eleanor Roosevelt. 20 points for each correct answer in this round. Die spoon <laughs> looks lethal, but juggle the letters and what Greek god of the sea will emerge? Poseidon. That's right. Legislative, legible, legitimate. Of these words that begin with L-E-G, which one does not stem from the Latin word meaning law, but from one meaning to write? Legible. legible. <laughs> That's right. www.earlysurveyor.com. Could have been a website for what 18th century surveyor along with Charles Mason, plotted the boundary line between Pennsylvania and Maryland. Dixon. Dixon. That's right. Blanks and N.A., a two-part question. Using these letters, you can spell out the names of what two Scandinavian countries, whose capitals are respectively Copenhagen and Helsinki. Denmark and Finland. That's good for 40 points. Now we see Scalia, Holmes, and Souter. Of these three members of the Supreme Court, which one is not a present justice, and in fact served on the court early in the 20th century. Holmes? That's right, Oliver Wendell Holmes. There is no right to strike against the public safety. These were the words of what Republican, who had to deal with a Boston police strike before he became our 30th president and earned the nickname Silent Cal. 
Coolidge. That's a good run there, Eleanor Roosevelt. 260 after you're part of the run. As you can see, a big crowd today and we welcome in our its academic audience members of the Eleanor Roosevelt Pep Band, directed by Mr. Paul Dembowski. Paul, take a bow, please, and thanks very much for bringing the band to see us today. <laughs> Team number two is Springbrook High, Springbrook in Silver Spring, Montgomery County, Ryan Gomez. Ryan? Hi, I want to give a great big shout out to all my Springbrook people holding it down and express, <laughs> and I want to express my abundant gratitude to all the cheerleaders who came out today. Very good, Ryan. David Cox, David. Hi, I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'd like to thank Mr. Holt and all the people who helped us practice. All right, David and Rakesh Penamali. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank all our alternates for coming out and supporting us today. Take a look at the screen. Manage correct answer worth 20. Rinse, not fry. The letters in this phrase can be rearranged to form what nickname for the gold miners who flocked to California in the year following the discovery of gold at Sutter's Mill? 49ers. Right, gram and meter. To name a thousandth of a gram and a thousandth of a meter, what five-letter prefix should precede these words? Millie. Right. www.seriousauthor.com a century ago. This might have been the web address. Well, what Russian author, whose very serious works included War and Peace? Tolstoy. That's right. Two-part question. A-S-T and blanks. Fill in these blanks. You name two very different men. The current Speaker of the House of Representatives and the 19th century French scientist who discovered a vaccine for rabies. You have them? Pastor and Pasteur. That's right, 40 points. Striated, smooth, cardiac, of these types of muscle in the human body, which type includes the biceps muscle that bulges in your arm? Striated. Good. A great life never dies. Before he was felled by an assassin's bullet in 1901, these words were spoken by what Republican president who was attending the Buffalo, New York Exposition? McKinley. Good run, Springbrook. 260 after your party. <laughs> Back to Prince George's County to meet the young people from Northwestern High in Hyattsville, Maryland. Lucy Erickson. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank our coach, Darla Hines, and all of our teammates. Thank you, Lucy. Danny Paoletti. I'm a 16-year-old junior again, and I'd like to give a great thanks to our principal, Mr. William Ritter. What do you mean you're a junior again? You're pretty smart. Again, again. too. All right. <laughs> you're pretty Earth. smart to be on this team. I don't think you're a piece. Here's Tommy Priestley. <laughs> Hi, I'm an 18-year-old senior. I'm uh, one of the captains of the varsity wrestling team at Northwestern, co-editor co of the yearbook, and I recently earned the rank of Eagle Scout in Troop 224, Hyattsville, Maryland, St. Jerome Church. I'd like to thank our Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps and our varsity cheerleaders who came out to support us today. Hey, congratulations, Tommy, on being an Eagle Scout. That's a great accomplishment. Take a look at the screen now, Northwestern. I, a crab, you won't be crabby here if you rearrange this, to name what language spoken widely in North Africa and the language in which the Quran is written? Arabic. Right, mission view, what five-letter prefix meaning between or among? We'll change these words into a time between the acts of a play and the questioning of a job applicant. Enter. Right. <laughs> www.bravesailor.com. This would have been an appropriate website. What brave Arabian Nights sailor who made seven adventurous voyages? Got that? Lewis. Sinbad, the sailors. Two-parter now, C-N-I-A. Fill in the blanks here and you'll name what South American country whose capital is Bogota and what Asian country whose capital is Phnom Penh. Colombia and Cambodia. 40 points. Mercator Meredith Mead, which of these men is the 16th century Flemish cartographer who created the map projections that still bear his name? Mercator. Right. Sensible and responsible women do not want to vote. Is this guy nuts? These sentiments were voiced by what 19th century president who was elected to two non-consecutive terms even without the women's vote? Cleveland. That's the right. So Northwestern 220 after the part of the round. In our its academic audience, members of the Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps there at Northwestern, Captain Robert Davis and Senior Chief Daisy Hadley in charge. Please stand up, Captain and uh, Senior Chief. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you later. And there's the end of the round. An investment in education is an investment in the future. 
Over the years, Comcast has invested in innovative programs to enhance the educational experience of students from kindergarten through college. In the Washington, Virginia region, Comcast offers free high-speed internet modems to schools, distributes more than $100,000 a year in scholarships, and has provided computer training to more than 4,000 teachers. Its academic teams compete for more than glory. Today, Giant and Comcast will provide $925 in scholarship money, $375 to our winning school, and $275 to each of the other schools. By the end of the season, Comcast and Giant will have provided over $100,000 to our schools. And over the years, over $2 million in scholarship money has been given to teams competing on its academic. Giant and Comcast do not select the individual scholarship recipients, but leave that choice and the administration of the funds to the school. Wow, we've got a good close match going here. Let's take a look at the scores. The team from Eleanor Roosevelt has 260. They're in the tie for first. Springbrook has 260, tied for first. Northwestern, 220. Visual <laughs> round now. Each correct answer worth 10 to the team. 10 off for a wrong answer. A team whose light is on first has a chance. Here's number one. Evaporating water leaves masses of salt pillars in what salty Mid-Eastern Sea, the lowest, or at Springbrook? Dead Sea. Right, good. Lyndon Johnson, in 1953, was the youngest senator ever elected. To what position assumed by Bill Frist? All right, Eleanor Roosevelt. Senate Majority Leader. Senate Majority Leader. Good. The Ottoman army was a force to be reckoned with in the 16th century when the country was ruled by what Sultan called the Magnificent. Eleanor Roosevelt. Suleiman. Good. Which of these three figures is a rational number? All right, Eleanor Roosevelt. The last one. That's good. Now, American artist William Merritt Chase has been called a master of what style of painting? All right, Springbrook. Impressionism. Good. This is a portrait of a colonial patriot whose second most famous phrase was, if this be treason, make the most of it. Springbrook. Defer. Arnold. Patrick Henry, 10 down. You won't find this painting of St. George in England, but in the National Historical Museum of what Eastern European country whose capital is Sophia. Eleanor Roosevelt. Bulgaria. Right. This ancient Roman relief depicts what special guard, the personal bodyguard, Springbrook. Your answer? Praetorian. That's good, of the Roman Empress. Excellent choice. This is a 19th century painting by one American artist known for his depiction of Native Americans. All right, Eleanor Roosevelt. Caitlin. Oh, well, Catlin. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Now, here you have two ancient Egyptian newlyweds, Queen Anke Cinnamon and what young husband whose tomb? All right, Springbrook. Tootin Common. That's good, and there's the end of the round. Giant, fresh ideas rise to the occasion. They're tossed in Old Bay and meet your satisfaction. Fresh ideas and great values happen every day at Giant. Delizioso, robusto, e quando è sulla graticola giusto per te, i sapori diventano a, a, all squished together, il panini. Bravo, Giant. Still waiting for a better way to enjoy the Internet? Goodbye. Go with Comcast High Speed Internet. It's fast, and it's the perfect way to enjoy everything the Internet has to offer, from shopping to sharing videos, downloading music to online gaming. You name it, it's fast. Comcast High Speed Internet. Call 1-888-COMCAST and try it free for 30 days. Plus, get a free self-install kit. There's never been a better time to lose the weight. Here. Welcome back. Now we have the pleasure of introducing the faculty coaches and administrators, updating the score at the same time. Eleanor Roosevelt, 310. Uh, Conan, please introduce our guests. 
I'd like to introduce our assistant coach, Mr. Michael Smordick, our principal, Mr. Sil Sylvester Conyers, and our longtime coach, Mr. Jerry Greenbaum. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us today. Springbrook and Silver Spring in with a score of 290. All right, David, take it away, Dave. To my right is our coach, Mr. Holt, and to my left is our principal, Mr. Durso. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being with us. Northwestern and Hyattsville in with a score of 220. Danny does the honors. To my right is Miss Darla Hines, our head coach, and to my left is our principal, Mr. William Ritter. Thank you very much for being with us. Mr. Ritter used to be faculty coach at Suitland. Thank you all for being with us. Now, teams, we move on to the next round. We're each correct answers again worth 20. And see the lights above the team's names. If they're on in a row like that, that'll show eight questions in a row answered correctly. Good for a 25-point bonus. Eleanor Roosevelt is up first, so Springbrook select. David, which one of these now? Number two. Number two. Here you are, Ben, Conan, and Daria if, with your turn in the round. Recently, a huge bird said to have a 14-foot wingspan and looking like a pterodactyl has been spotted in what cold state whose capital is Juneau. Alaska. That's right. Few men are letter perfect, but one whose letters had to be perfect was what American whose dictionary was published in 1828? Webster. Noah Webster's right. Born one year before Abraham Lincoln, what fellow Kentuckian not only became president of the Confederacy, but outlived Lincoln by 24 years? Davis. That's right. On the monitor, we see highly corrosive, weak, not found naturally. In general, organic acids are, which of these? Highly corrosive, weak, or not found naturally? Weak. That's right. Nine Hours to Rama was an old movie about the 1948 assassination of what pacifist leader of India? A man called the Mahatma. Gandhi. Right. Shakespeare killed off a number of kings in his plays, including the Scottish king, Duncan, who was murdered by what Shakespearean title character? Macbeth. That's right. On the monitor, which is one value, what is one value of X in this equation? Twelve. Right. Plus or minus twelve is right. The newest member of the United Nations is East Timor, which split in 1999. From what other country? An archipelago that includes the island of Bali. Indonesia. There's a bonus for Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> so, okay, Springbrook and Silver Spring is up, so Northwestern. So like Danny, which one now? Three. Okay, number three is his choice. Ryan, David, Rakish, your turn. If you were to eat key, lime pie where it was originally introduced you'd visit what state whose most southern point is key west florida that's right congress passed the first fugitive slave law in 1793 the same year eli whitney invented what device that greatly increased the south's use of slaves and land cotton gin right during world war ii general theodore roosevelt jr the son of former president teddy roosevelt was the first u.s general to wade ashore during what military event of june 6th 1944 D-Day. Right. On the monitor, we see green, orange, violet. Which of these colors has the longest wavelength? Violet. Orange is the answer. There are no points. The name Florence was often given to baby boys until Florence gained overwhelming female identity as the first name of what British nurse born in 1820? Nightingale. Right. He is a lighthouse in a sea of absurdity, wrote one contemporary critic about what French author whose works include Les Miserables. You have that? Victor Hugo, the answer to now on the monitor. What is the value of this expression? Giving your answer as a positive integer. Two. Good. In Verdi's opera Aida, the slave girl is actually a princess from what African country whose capital is Addis Ababa? Ethiopia. That's good. Springbrook, 410 after your part of the round. Good job. Leaving number one right here for Northwestern High School, Hyattsville, Maryland. The school bell calls classes to order. But what historic bell was rung in Philadelphia at the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence? The Liberty Bell. That's it. It wasn't a regiment of weightlifting, but his long hair that gave strength to what biblical strongman betrayed by Delilah. Samson. Good. In the book Uncle Tom's Cabin, the villain Simon Legree is actually a Yankee. From what New England state whose capital is Montpelier? Vermont. That's right. On the monitor, see it, hear it, both see and hear it. If you were standing on the moon and someone set off a charge of dynamite a safe distance away, could you see it? 
Hear it? Or both? See it. Good. In 1802, before hieroglyphic writing was understood, G.F. Grotefund made linguistic history by deciphering what wedge-shaped clay tablet writing used in ancient Babylon. Cuneiform. Cuneiform is right. With a total of 3,904 lines, Shakespeare's longest play is what tragedy whose lines include to be or not Hamlet. to be. Hamlet. You interrupted my soliloquy. That's right. Now on the monitor, evaluate this expression. If A has a value of 9, giving your answer as a positive integer. Thirty-six and a half. Uh, Twelve is the answer. The African nation once called the Gold Coast is still listed under the letter G in the almanac, but uh, now has what name? Its capital is Accra. Ghana. Ghana. Ghana is right, and it's 360 for Northwestern. The end of the round. <laughs> Welcome to another year of Giant Foods A-plus bonus bucks program. Now you can earn cash for your school by using your bonus card each time you shop at Giant. Just log on to www.giantfood.com or sign up at any Giant store to designate up to three schools on your bonus card. Then, every time you use your bonus card, your school will earn points toward a monthly cash award. Last year, Giant awarded $3.4 million to over 3,500 schools. This year, Giant plans to award even more. So sign up today for Giant Foods' A-plus bonus bucks program. <laughs> All right, let's move along to the next round. Where each, uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to check the scores. Eleanor Roosevelt now at 495. Springbrook 410. Northwestern 360. There you are. <laughs> Grab back three for all. Each correct answer was 20. 20 off for a wrong answer. Visual questions, 30 points up or down. Number one, 20% of the electricity we use in our country comes from what source? Studied by such scientists, or right, Springbrook. Your answer. Water. Nuclear is the answer there, so 20 down. Samantha, at 26 feet, the world's largest captive snake, died last fall at the Bronx Zoo, far from her birthplace on what B-initialed island, the world, all right, Springbrook. Your answer. Borneo is the answer. It's one down. Leading his team to victory in this year's Orange Bowl was what USC quarterback who had earlier won the Heisman Trophy. Carson Palmer is the answer. Now on the monitor, 30-pointer. These two figures were actually bureaucrats who helped run the government of what ancient empire? Springbrook. Babylonia. Uh, whose capital was Nineveh, Assyria. So 30 points down. The mythical Pan might enjoy visiting Oklahoma, which has what jutting geographic, geographical feature with its name in it? Eleanor Roosevelt. Panhandle? Right. To frighten the characters from To Kill a Mockingbird, just utter what nickname given... All right, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Boo. Boo! Boo! Radley is right. In February of 2002, the national debt passed what number of dollars equal to 6 times 10 to the 12th power? Springbrook. 1 trillion. 6 trillion is the answer there. And 20 down. On the monitor, a peace which rests on the cooperative effort of the whole world. President Franklin D. Roosevelt set this goal in one of his last speeches. After his return from what 1945 conference? All right, Springbrook. Yalta. That's right, 30 points. Criticism of rock groups is not new. Ulysses was warned not to heed the songs of what rock group of a, all right, what Northwestern? Defer. Sirens. Sirens is right, of alluring women. Women, that's right, good. Choice by what quantity must mass be multiplied in order to equal force? All right, Eleanor Rose. Acceleration. Equal force on the object. Acceleration is right. What American poet literally sang for his supper as he traveled all over the country reading his own works such as The Congo? Well, that was Vachel Lindsay. Boom, lay, boom, lay, boom, lay, boom. Now on the monitor. Here is what famous raft on which archaeologist Thor Heyerdahl. All right, Springbrook. Contiki. Contiki is the right answer. And there's the end of the game! At Giant, fresh ideas rise to the occasion. They're tossed in Old Bay and meet your satisfaction. Fresh ideas and great values happen every day at Giant. Delicioso. Robusto. E quando è sulla graticola, giusto per te, 
i sapori diventano a... Uh, a... Uh, all squished together, il panini. Bravo, Giant. Still waiting for a better way to enjoy the Internet? Bye-bye. Go with Comcast High Speed Internet. It's fast. And it's the perfect way to enjoy everything the Internet has to offer. From shopping, to sharing videos, downloading music, to online gaming. You name it, it's fast. Comcast High Speed Internet. Call 1-888-COMCAST and try it free for 30 days. Plus, get a free self-install kit. There's never been a better time to lose the weight. from uh, Northwestern. And now it's time to check the scores and present the awards. It's a tie for second. Our thanks first go to the team from Northwestern in Hyattsville. 380, the award from Giant and Contest for 275. Thank you, Lucy, Danny, and Tommy. And in the tie for second, Springbrook and Silver Spring. There you are. Ryan, David, and Rakeef. Another award for your school for 275 from Comcast and Giant. Now our winning team and winning score in Greenbelt, Prince George's County, 555, Eleanor Roosevelt High School. <laughs> and the award from Giant and Comcast for 375. It means our winning team, Eleanor Roosevelt, returns in the next round against two other first round winners. Next week we have another first rounder, Benjamin Banneker, Oxen Hill, and Potomac Falls. I'm Mac McGarry. Thank you, parents and teachers. And now, come on up here. Come on. Academic with Mac McGarry has been sponsored by Giant Food. Giant. Fresh ideas, great values. That's Giant. And by Comcast. Connecting people to what's important in their lives.